alive. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special message. Jenny is love. Well, hello, is what? Love. love. <laughs> we love you. Um, no, anyway, look, it's, it's, um, it's the 10th. It finally got here. So um, I'm just looking to, uh, just bear with me one moment. Uh, I'm looking for the comments. There we are. So it is the Hornby 2022 announcements. Now, is it? My <coughs> goodness, already? It is very much. Now, we're in a strange, a strange situation here where Hornby, <coughs> excuse me, have asked everybody to um, uh, not reveal any details of the range till eight. But... Um, they already have. Um, so, well, it's their prerogative. So, at the moment, um, I think everybody knows now what's in the Hornby range. Um, but um, we can't really discuss it. Well, I can't discuss it until 8. Um, so, if you put things that you obviously know are factually correct from the range, because Hornby have announced them in the chat, that's fine. But I can't comment on them until 8. Um, but yeah, so, um, wh uh, wh who have we got in? We've got Patrick Ling, Leslie Gilpin, Mel's, David Cook, Iron Horse Railways, um, Sam Yates, David Cook, Patrick Ling, Flymo Chairman One, uh, Angus's Trains, big hello to you, great to see you in, uh, John JMC, morning to you, G Thomas, uh, Josh's Railway Adventures, Andy Brooks, Timber Surf, Cheshire Lines, Alex Dent, um, so yeah, uh, Angus's Train says spending thousands again. Um, absolutely. It's that time of the year where you go through and go, want, want, need, got. Um, and funnily enough, uh, where has she gone? I'm here. Not you. Um, <laughs> uh, this, this model, you may have seen running. I'm just going to talk about this model that was in the video. Uh, I did the DCC fitting. I honestly had no idea, but, um... Uh, it's been announced as a model. Um, I, I I got this. Second... Jenny, you've just broken embargo. Yeah, um, I bought this secondhand from uh, Tim at Arcadia Models. Um, really nice, professionally renumbered and renamed. Couldn't believe it when I saw the exact same livery and identity um, being announced. Uh, that's the new tooled M7, so it's DCC ready. Did the full DCC fit on it. Um, I, I paid £45 for that second hand. Uh, Tim is a sweetie. As I always say, the Arcadia second hand table is priced to sell and bargains are still out there. Okay, I suggest uh, you don't talk about any more until eight. I you can talk about what people expect. Yes, well, I, I was just talking about this model that um, I, I got second hand that's been professionally um, numbered and lettered. Um, but there we are. Anyway, right. Um, DT Head, hello to you. It says, thanks to the improved precedent in LMS Red, Jenny, a treat to my new kidney transplant. I'm really happy. It is a beautiful livery. And I'm surprised, actually, that it wasn't the one that sold out first. Um, Lucknow did uh, in the London and Northwestern Railway Black. I honestly thought that the maroon one um, would... Uh, <laughs> would um, actually be uh, the, the biggest seller, but hey-ho. Flint Hills Mother Railway, Jeff Hammond, a morning to you. Uh, Lynette5972 says, greetings from Midwestern US, where it's currently 2.45 in the morning. Gosh, this is roles reversed, because I filmed for What's Neat this week on Saturday, and um, uh, I have to do that from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m., so it's, it's, it's opposite day. But yes, we've got all those announcements, and I know a lot of people have been um, trying to guess what the Hornby announcements would be, and actually there's some pretty good guesses on the money. Um, so what I will say is that... Uh, are you all right there? Yeah, I've just uh, set up your wireless mouse so that you don't have to reach around things. Oh, so every did everybody enjoy the USB plugging in sound? <laughs> I realised that it was a bit uh, iffy that it would make that noise, but this will make things so much easier for will you. Will this actually work? Oh, my word, it will. So we've got a wire... Where did you get this from? <laughs> I got it from a pound shop for one pound. A pound shop for a pound? Yeah, a USB mouse. <laughs> wireless. Yeah, and Leslie oh, Gilpin asks, did I see the Rapido video? 
Yes, I did. Um, I think we've all seen the Rapido video. Um, yeah, actually, yes, yes, I think. Mm. So, yeah, um, something that's been brewing in the background. We're not really going to talk about it today. We're going to try and concentrate. We're going to talk on about the... it on the Monday Club a bit, though. Um, yeah, news, we'll talk about news. Yeah, we'll talk about the news um, on the Monday Club this evening from seven p.m. UK time. So that's seven p.m. GMT. But um, yes, I have seen it. Um, so we, we will we'll get to that. Okay, Jen. Since we've got ten minutes before <coughs> Hornby are letting people talk about what's in their list, uh-huh. if. It is weird because we all know what's in it. But you've got to go with what's Mm. what's going on. If money was no object and uh, licensing was no object and blah, 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 Mm -hmm. what one thing from anywhere would you like to see in a a release? Um, London and North Western Railway DX Goods and London and North Western Railway Special Tank, which was the tank engine version of the DX Goods. Uh, The most numerous steam locomotive ever built to one single design, Um, nearly a thousand. Um, And also um, uh, very long lasting. Uh, Some of the, I think it's about five of the special tanks lasted to BR ownership. Um, And um, certainly some of them were sold abroad. Uh, I know that some worked in Belgium after being sold out of service. Some worked in Sweden. Um, so yeah, that's the one I always say. Um, and actually, um, right. So anyway, right. So Gordon Hanley says I should be going to work right now, but I have the flu, so unfortunately I have to watch the Hornby launch instead. What a chore! Oh, there is a lot of illness going around. You might hear in my voice that I have had really bad lurgy all weekend. Not COVID. Did take a test. Took multiple tests. <laughs> yes, uh, all came back negative, but it was a flu-like cold. So. I've been laid low all weekend, uh, which is probably why I, l- I have bed head going on. Um, the cupboard monkey is about a day behind <laughs> me. So me. if you hear sneezing and snot noises, that's what that is. I can't uh, help it, I'm sorry. Mm, but yes, um, somebody uh, uh, Jennifer Garrett asks, something going on with Rapido. Um, yes, uh, this is... Um, uh, to do with licensing, but we um, we can't talk about it until the uh, embargo. Yeah, pretty much. John James, he says, got to go get ready for work by all the fun of having to work in a model shop. And I bet your <laughs> day is going to be busy. Yes. Um, uh, because there'll be a lot of people wanting to order a lot of the stuff. Um, G. Thomas asks, the minimum radius of curved track in Britain is nine inches. Um. <laughs> it, it can be, uh, in Britain, the minimum is nine inches. <laughs> okay, still <laughs> long, Beavis. Um, uh, yeah, that was just me being childish. Sorry. Minimum radius is whatever you make it. It's whether or not your models will go round. Um, what's the minimum radius on wheel yard? Minimum radius is about fifteen inches, which I think is radius one. Wow. Um, but uh, yes. Iron Horse Row says sneezing and snot noises. Yes, what a marvellous description. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave you to it. Yes, uh, okay. Our little resident snot factory is uh, going yeah. downstairs. I, I, I don't want to make your stream <laughs> flag up on antivirus software. Oh, oh, I see what you did there. See what you did there. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> so, right. Anyway, Hornby have very, very generously sent over the um, complete listing. So, if their website bogs down then I do have access to that. Uh, Melchester Model Railway, officially the press have been told to uh, leave it, leave it until 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock is the embargo, but uh, the Hornby website actually went live uh, before 7. Now, um, I I checked it at about half 6 and was quite surprised to see that um, all of the announcements were just there. I don't know if that was by accident or uh, design. Um, Leslie Gilpin says, Zoe making a full English for you, Jenny. Unfortunately not. Um, oh, you're making me hungry now. Big hello to I Like Transport. Great to see you in. Um, DT Head says, a loco TARDIS. Um, funnily enough, uh, we do have, I can't remember which angle it will be on. So something to look forward to on We're, uh, We're Yard tonight. And yeah, you can just see it on there, but you can also just see it on 
there. Oh, how can this be? Right, Tim's Mother Railway in different videos has seven minutes to go. Um, Fly My Chairman 1 says, ooh, a live Steam Black 5. You may think that. I can't possibly comment until 8 o'clock. Um, right, uh, John JMC says they have their video on YouTube now. Yeah, uh, the Hornby Magazine video is going from 7.30. It's a bit unfair, really, isn't it? Um, so Hornby Magazine have been given permission to show a video off. I think it's a pre-recorded two-hour video going through the range. Um, it's almost as if Hornby Magazine... <laughs> got special treatment for being Hornby magazine. No, I, I think there's very complicated reasons. And of course, uh, New Junction uh, probably won't pop into our stream because we'll be busy checking what's going on over there. But uh, yeah, um, it's been a busy old week. So there's been a lot going on behind the scenes I couldn't talk about and can't really talk about until eight o'clock, which is really annoying. Um, um, Flamo Chairman once says just going 8 a.m. here. Um, let's have a look. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, right. Uh, let me just, uh, right. Uh, I, I, there's, there, there is, uh, as always, um, controversy brewing. Um, we all like a good bit of controversy, don't we? Especially if it doesn't involve ourselves. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of nice. It's nice that somebody else is is um, is uh, in in the uh, the aiming sights rather than me. Um, uh, Flyman Chen one says, "Oh, have you caught the daft flu? Not the other one going around." Um, but yeah, I, I certainly have. Um, it's horrible, actually. Has all the same symptoms, but tests negative. Funny that. Uh, John JMC says, five minutes. Build the suspense." Absolutely. Um, Warbler Productions doesn't appear to be in. So if anybody wants to have a go. Um, at spotting the TARDIS, now's a good time. Uh, Will Tucker says Simon Cole has been on my screen since seven a.m. A few surprises so far. Um, mm, 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 mm. um there's uh, yeah, Art uh, Game Hammer Classic Gaming has well, you know full well where it is. You put it there. Um, so um, yeah, Tico three sixty says it's twelve a.m. where they are. Um, and actually in Australia. In Australia, um, it's it's like well into the day. Uh, Djokovic has uh, won his case. Uh, Angus is trained near the bridge. Uh, absolutely. But wh oh, how can it be over there at the same time? Oh, my word. Look, sort of just um, up there, follow my finger and keep going until you're near the signal box. Oh, my word. Um, but yeah, if Lama Chairman wants us a new 060 diesel. You may think that uh, I, I'm not allowed to comment for four minutes. Um, oh, my word. Game Hammer Classic Gamer says it's great. The Hornby announced they're going to staple three grogs together to create the fabled Mega Gronk. That sounds like it'll be bothering Tokyo by sunset. <laughs> uh, Sam Yates says time for the Monday Club. Yeah, it's the, the Monday Club special Monday morning outing. Um, so uh, Worthington Mother Rose says 2 a.m. in the U.S. Uh, Sam Yates says nearly 7 p.m. Um, but yes, right. So um, what I need to do is I'm going to lose the screen that I normally just check up on what's going on on because I am going to prep for. There you are, mouse pointer. So I'm going to prep um, and I'm going to try and use the. Um, Hornby thing. So um, basically, um, 2022 range, eh? Mm. Right, let me just, um, so I can keep looking at the comments, I need to... What? Oh, dearie me. It's easily done, isn't it? So, um, I need to... Oops. Oh, come here, you. Uh, for some reason, I can't find my own stream on YouTube. So, um, oh, there we go. Uh, let me turn turn my volume down, otherwise it'll be very strange. So, um, let's bring that up. So, we've got the 2022 range, and my clock is just it's probably about a minute to go. So, DT Head says, 20-hour chat, Jenny. I should, Coco. 
Um, so anyway, look, um, hello to everybody. We've got Pompey Yard, Mel's, great to see you. Worthington Model Railway, um, who's very excited about a model, which I need another minute to talk about it. I did promise Hornby. Um, so uh, Barnabas Junction, great to, to see you in as well. We're gonna, um, I know because it's a different time of the day, so we're getting a few faces who ever since lockdown uh, came to an end, <laughs> obviously gone back to work um, and uh, come off furlough. So uh, it's great to see a few old faces from the Monday Club in the chat. Right, and eight o'clock. Right, so absolutely. Hornby and Model World gave the game away with that steam-fitted locomotive. I think one of the big standout announcements from today's range is that steam-fitted P2. Uh, which is just incredible. Um, hmm. That's, why is my... Oh, dearie me. Oh, there we go. Apparently the mouse falls asleep after a while. So, right. Um, uh, what? Oh, my word. 21 to 8, eight pin converter. Um, I'll look at that in a moment. But this has really caught my eye. And I think it caught... Um, uh, oh, are we... Are we actually... Um, see, this is the problem that I was worried about. So what I might have to do is... Um, yeah, the um, it's basically fallen over. Oh, no, there we go. So, double O diecast reappears. We got them in the centenary range. But this is the uh, Bedford OB coach Pearson Crump from Mallingford, which is the fictional livery from the uh, Titfield Thunderbolt range. The artwork on this is particularly interesting as well. Um, it's part of their Trains on Film set. Um, but um, I don't know why I'm going straight to that. It's like, oh, let's home in on some of the more obscure products. Uh, Fly my chairman one. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, right, so we're getting the LNER Coronation Observation Car. There were lots of rumours about this. Um, so it has now finally been announced. Um, and uh, then we're also getting Hornby Double O range. There's uh, extra stuff turning up. This one as well is uh, actually quite surprised at this. I didn't see this one coming. I knew about the locomotive, but this is the Trains on Film as seen in the Lady with a Lamp train pack. So I believe that's Lion. It's an interesting way of making um, more use of the Lion model. And we're also getting the mouldings from those coaches that came out with the rocket in the centenary range. Um, so uh, we've got a price on that, 229. It's a, a locomotive and three coaches. Um, so um, really interesting packaging. This trains on film range is going to be a theme all the way through. Um, and Ben Davis says, so happy we get an LNER Coronation Observation Car and P2 Steam Fit. Sorry, want the model shot? You just got your M7. Yeah, and this we'll get to. Actually, no, we'll, we'll, I'll bring that up when we, we find the listing. But certainly that was really interesting. Now we're going to... Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you, uh, these are really interesting. Now, um, I know a lot of people focus on the price. But uh, one of the things that I've spotted is that we've got the railroad version of the Class 31. Um, and, and look at that. This is an interesting aspect that I think a lot of people focusing on the price tag of some of the more expensive models um, have actually gone, um, kind of ignored these, that we've, we've still got the sub £100 budget uh, range. Uh, so £96.99, that is the RRP, you could take 10% off that certainly, um, discounted in the shops, uh, for a lot of shops. Um, but this model actually, I have seen quite a few people say the body moulding on this is pretty good. Uh, chassis is a, a warmed over Lima one. Shame about those goalpost couplings, although that is livery artwork. So um, we do need to just uh, bear in mind what we're going to see when it does come out. I would love to see them change them for the slimline couplings. Mm. But um, this is uh, is really important for the budget conscious modeler. So um, what I need to do is try and I'll oh, stop jumping around. So um, uh, where is the button I was looking for? 
Uh, th there's a lot of familiar models reappearing here, it has to be said. Um, APT and Intercity livery I'm seeing there. Um, it's all just mixed up. Uh, so, interesting enough, the Laureate, uh, BR Laureate Y machinery truck, <coughs> is getting released separately. Um, so, we've also got... For some reason, uh, they're all mixed up. I'm going to try and find the buttons so we can go through the locomotives. Uh, I, I really just uh, struggling here a bit. So let's start at the top then. Right, here we are. Hornby 00 Merchant Navy. Price? Price? Uh, £320.99. First Crest Western Class 43 HST Train Pack. 362 Um so we're now firmly in the over £300 mark. Um, just looking down here, Lady of the Lamp, um, we've just talked about that. Trains on film, as seen in the Titfield Thunderbolt. Now, I think you're going to hear a lot more about this. Um, but uh, so, you know, so we'll talk a lot about that on the Monday Club, I think. Um, some really nice, interesting stuff here for the uh, younger modeler, the Santa's Present Wagon. It's nice to see that Hornby hasn't forgotten that kind of thing. Um, some of these are mixed up with what's outstanding um, um, in the 2021 race. Somebody said tick box. There we go. Locomotives. Right. So um, sort by price. Uh, let's go low to high. Let's leave the shock to the end. So uh, we've got the Class 66s reappearing, but we've got this Railroad Plus range. Now, I am quite curious. We've got this price point of $96.99. Um, I think that this could potentially be um, a really great thing in the market. So what does Railroad Plus get you? Um, let's have a look at the technical specs. Um, is DCC ready? Um, I can only assume that it's... it's uh, um, let's have a look. It, it appears to be the full fat kind of um, printing finish, but on the railroad model. So less detail, but a decent paint, paint job. So I can see that these will very much appeal to the lower end of the market. I think that that is a really great idea. So uh, for some reason, locomotive, come on. Come on, behave yourself, you silly, silly sausage. I think I'm going to have to write... No, locomotives. There we go. Right, behave yourself. Right, we've already talked about that one. Uh, a lot of these Railroad Plus models, Class 47s, 37s, um, really, really great. Now, we've also got the 150th uh, anniversary for the Terriers. So, really nice. We've got uh, Martello as the club exclusive. No image of that, though. This I have been desperate to tell you about. The MSC, uh, also other, other liveries are available, but <coughs> with a, <coughs> excuse me, still getting over a bad cold. But with, um, there's, there's also um, some other really great liveries there, £108.99. This is a great price point for the six wheel version of the Sentinel. Now, Hornby have already brought out the rod and chain drive version of the four wheel Sentinel. This is the logical progression. I think this is going to be a really popular model. We've also got um, another new purely industrial um, locomotive from Hornby. This is great. Um, so um, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, Angus's trains. Hornby are doing a live stream, um, but you can bet your boots that um, they will be um, not answering questions on a certain topic that everybody wants answers to. Um, the departmental terrier there is DS680, the all over black. I can see that proving popular for those who want to actually do their own industrial liveries. It's a good basis for that. Um, looking further down, we've also got their trains on film. We've uh, got an appearance here for the railway children. Uh, we've got the train. Uh, this appears to be, I would guess, this is the HST power cars only. 145.99. Now, the BR Class 110 has reappeared. Um, and I know a lot of people have been clamoring for some more of the. Um, um, ben Davis actually says, Hi, Jennifer. Sorry. Sorry, I want the model shop you, you 
you just got your M7. Uh, thanks. Can you put the name? It's called Arcadia Models, and that's spelled A R C A D I A. Um, and uh, actually, no, it's Arcadia Rail. I think I think they're they're officially called. They're in a place called Shaw in North Manchester. I do mention them a lot. Um, right. Um, but yeah, certainly really really good, fast moving, well priced second hand table. 45 quid for that M7 in a box, professionally renumbered, renamed. Right, anyway, um, there are some new steam locomotives in the range. We, we'll, we'll get down to those um, as we, we go. The Class 110, I'm going to open in a new tab so we don't break this page. Uh, so actually, whilst that's loading, we'll come back to it. The Gronks, we're looking at £185.99. Um Iron Horse Railways, junior range. I think they're the battery-powered range. Uh, AD Pullen, uh, yeah, railway children. We They kind of hinted at that, I must admit. The Class 110 also coming out in BR Green. I am curious what you get for your money. So this is the old former Lima moulding. So technical specs. Does it come? DCC ready, it does. 8-pin. Um, so this is definitely one to watch, it has to be said. Let's try and bring that up. Um, so this is actually, it's quite an interesting livery. We've got the older style couplings. Um, chunkier X uh, Lima style wheels. But certainly it's one that there is no, um, uh, there is no other um, high spec version out there. And the Class 110, the Calderdale units, really, really... Um, yeah, I remember these from when I was a kid. So, really nice to see. Let's go back to the marriage. Yes. Um, so, let's bring up um, the the Black Gronks. People have mentioned that. £185.99. Let's take a look at the specs, shall we? Um, so, it's really nice livery. Really early Class 8 livery. No wasp stripes or anything. So, there you are. 13079. So, this is even the pre-D number. Um, but uh, certainly, the the Hornby Class Eight, I actually rate it as being it's slightly better than the Backman one, definitely. But um, yeah, we are. It, it is an expensive model to produce. Um, I have to say, um, it does feature opening doors. Uh, at the time, seemed like a good idea, but of course, with increased costs of production from China, then it, it it's become a little bit of a millstone, perhaps. Um, but let's just. Have a look. What do you get? Right. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I've actually, this is this looks to be um, the preserved one in the NRM. So that's interesting. So that is the preserved example. Let's take a look at the technical specs. Is only DCC ready? You don't get a decoder in that for that. So I think you just, um, unfortunately, we're going to have to get used to these price points. Um, we do a uh, singles from Liverpool. Is that one of the, the trains on film? I'm not sure. Ah, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to bring that one up because I will talk about it. This one as well. I'm going to bring that up. Um, we've talked a bit about the Railroad Plus Class 31. Um, we're going to we've got the Stanley Black 5. Um, we've seen that trains on film. And um, there is a turbo motive here somewhere. I will get to that. Um, there's a lot of black fives listed there. Um, a Caprotti back black five. Uh, so um, let's just open that. There, there aren't any. They, they're using a prototype pictures, so I'm guessing this is quite an early stage. We've got the 150th anniversary Terrier pack. I told you that there was likely to be a lot of Terrier related goodness. Um, the W1 is uh, coming out with some more liveries. Um, so. Um, those who maybe missed out um, are going to uh, not be disappointed by that. Right, the turbo motive. I really wanted to show you guys that. But right, anyway. Oh, my word. I, I, I think somebody at Margate must have missed a beat when I did a review of this locomotive. So um, I'm just going to show you that on screen. This is <coughs> a relivery. I had no idea that the exact same livery and running number of locomotive was being announced from Hornby. I really did, honestly. And I think somebody's heart must have gone... 
Um, it would have been interesting if um, I'd have done a review purely on that. Um, but um, I, I have ideas for clickbaity pictures for future videos. Um, but certainly, actually, it's an interesting transition era livery. Now, um, I, I did show it actually that the M7 has improved slightly. Let's just have a look at the technical specs. DCC ready 8 pin. Um, <coughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, only 38, 242, 243, and 244 had that fully malachite green uh, for uh, Waterloo Station pilot duties. Right, that is interesting. Um, I didn't actually know that. We've got some really great close ups here. Um, but uh, price point nearly £200. Um, Paid forty five for that, um, and that that was a bargain price. It must be that it, it must be said. I think the sticker on the box was sixty five, but it had been sat there a while. And I bet you now there's a lot of people kicking themselves that they didn't buy it. Um, uh, ben Davis says, "Sorry, want the telephone number? I have no idea what the telephone number is. I turn up in person. Just want you to get a model like the M seven front, but not planning to go DCC with it. The P two having life to just need one." Um, right, uh, what I suggest is Google is your friend, search for Arcadia Model Rail Insure, and uh, w when you find it, you'll know that you've um, got um, uh, got the right place. Right, uh, Melchester Model Rail says, oh, I hope they might release the M7. Fly my chairman one on message. Thank you ever so much. Hit the like button, subscribe and share. Absolutely. I know we've got a lot of competition from the official Hornby channel this morning. So we're always going to struggle a bit to compete with that. But right, anyway, this, the holy trinity of A4s. We finally have one of that holy trinity. And that is Golden Fleece in BR Lake Crest. Uh, 60030. This was one of the Hornby 00 locomotives. This was the model that Hornby 00 um, released for two rail. So um, uh, the A4... From Hornby Double if anybody's wondering, the holy trinity of A4s that I want, no, need, medically need um, to rekindle childhood uh, includes this in this very livery. So there's Golden Fleece, Lake Crest BR Green, Mallard BR, Lake Crest uh, BR Green, and then Silver King in BR Early Crest Green. We'll accept late Early Crest substitutions on all of these just to get the models but that one for me is definitely on my radar. Let's go and have a look though. £217.99. Um, that's one which I have to say, um, that price point, we've already seen that. The Princess Coronations coming out over the £200 mark. Unfortunately, this is where we are. Uh, Game Hammer Classic Gaming has done the Google Foo. So there's the telephone number. Uh, and... In the stream today as well, there are two model shops that we will be supporting. So um, that's one of them, Arcadia uh, Insure. Uh, and we are suggesting that they are a great place to pre-order your full 2022 Hornby range from. But also Durham Trains of Stanley are waiting to take your call as well. So do uh, and Game Hammer Classic Gaming, if you're able to just do a Google search for Durham Trains of Stanley's telephone number for anybody who wants to ring up and get their orders in. Um, so those are the two model shops uh, which I'm particularly uh, looking to uh, just let you know about. Uh, we do like to do this, support some of the smaller model shops out there. Um, but there we are. Anyway, Holy Trinity of A4s finally seen Golden Fleece. Really, really pleased about that. So, squee. <laughs> so, um, in a completely unrelated note, if anybody's ever looking to buy me a huge present. No, I'm not talking about you guys, but talking like family and stuff then. Yep, that's the one. So, um, let's have a look now. Right, somebody mentioned the, the Stanley 5 MT Black 5 Caprotti. Um, so this is the web exclusive, and we're going to see more and more of this. Um, but um, certainly, um, very early stages because we're not even getting CAD images or, or coloured CAD, CAD images. Um, but certainly, um, that is one that I think is going to be very, very popular. 
Um, Angus is trained, says, I need Commonwealth of Australia. Absolutely. Now, uh, Angus, you, you, could, you can chastise those in power in Australia for this. But um, I believe that Commonwealth of Australia, the actual A4, when it was withdrawn, um, it was offered um, to Australia for free. All they had to do was to um, pay the transport costs. Not an insignificant cost, but uh, essentially, um, as I understand it, uh, the uh, locomotives um, Dominion of Canada... Uh, Dominion of New Zealand and Commonwealth of Australia, quite possibly Empress of India as well, not so sure about that, maybe even Union of South Africa, were offered to the respective countries as a gift. Uh, all they had to do was pay transport. And I believe that only, Domin um, only Canada took them up on the offer. Um, Dwight D. Eisenhower was offered to the people of the US. Again, they took up that offer, which is how Dwight D. Eisenhower and also Dominion of Canada did survive. Union of South Africa, I believe, was, was bought privately. Um, uh, Will Tucker says, lovely little video uh, by Rapido Trains concerning, quote, another manufacturer. Oh, a jewel. How quaint. Um, yes. Um, Angus's train says, yes, I know. I wasn't happy about it. Um, what you've got to remember is different times. There were a number of locomotives offered to uh, countries, to organisations. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of them turned them down and went, oh, we don't want the expense of this dirty old steam locomotive. <coughs> and it is a great shame because when you think about it, you're looking at probably another three to four A4s would have got preserved. Because I'm guessing the people who bought Union of South Africa may well have bought a different one if Union of South Africa was already preserved. But we never, we'll never, we never know, I guess. Right. Sam Yates says, yep, that sounds like our typical government forward thinking. Yes, um, we had a lot of that over here as well. Take the Great Central Railway, built to the European loading gauge, um, way ahead of its time, built um, at the beginning of the last century, um, in preparation for the Channel Tunnel, which didn't come until, was it uh, late 80s, early 90s? And um, I've just all destroyed. Uh, how can that be a great use of resources? We'll never know. Right, anyway, so uh, the Caprotti there. Now, this one, I think, is quite interesting. So we've got, um, what are we, uh, which one is that? That is Poplar. Um, and... Um, Really nice to see these. Um, really nice to see the terriers in the LBSC livery with the uh, the original improved engine green. Uh, the rumor was he was colorblind. I think he was just having a laugh. Um, so I think that's the same locom. Yes, yeah, seven, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's the same locomotive in two different liveries. Um, <coughs> Um, I'll be honest with you, I only want the one on the left. Um, so um, I'll have to make a decision on that. I certainly do want Poplar. Would love to get Martello as well if they released it in this livery. But certainly there we go. Um, I told you there was going to be some Terrier 150 events. But really, really, uh, so there we go. Look at that. Oh, want, want, want. Um, not really keen on the uh, the southern... Uh, wartime uh, black livery, not really my, my bag, um, but there we go. Right, so Terriers galore, the W1 class hush hush streamlined, reappearing some more liveries, early British railways, but Nagata blue. That actually looks really nice, I do like that. We've got again, you're gonna have to get used to these price points above 200 pounds. Uh, let's have a look at the tech specs. Uh, oh, 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 just noticed something. Ah. 21 pin sockets 21 pin sockets finally hornby are upgrading to 21 pin this is a big big um a big news people i think this is passed under the radar there's been a huge debate about this will hornby embrace the better uh, technology uh, provided by 21 pin i think this has got a lot to do with the ability to put on extra features it's future proofing the models <coughs> um so there we go. Um, 21 pin sockets appearing. My word. That means that sound fitting these models is going to be an awful lot easier. Um, also, we've got Pegasus Designs and JBM says, hello from India. Absolutely brilliant. Um, great to see you. 
Uh, there's a lot of people lamenting the fact that uh, certain A4s were offered to uh, overseas countries who declined them. I mean, uh, the cost of shipping was probably quite expensive. So, um, um, you know, one of those things, I guess. Um, this, I think, is one of the big announcements. People were saying that Sam's Trains had blown the gaff on this, but... Um, I have to say, to be absolutely fair to Sam's trains, um, I think he just used random images on his thumbnail. And it is pure coincidence, in the same way that I was showing off this model, pure coincidence. Um, so this one, again, is one that a lot of people were clamouring um, uh, for. So we finally got the LMS Turbomotive. It's, it's kind of a logical progression in some respects from uh, the Princess Coronations. But, um, excuse me, really, really um, intrigued by these. Um, they, they're doing them in several different liveries as well. Um, Game Hammer Classic Gaming says, I had a feeling... Oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah, uh, actually, no, sorry. Sensible comment from Game Hammer Classic Gaming. My word. I had a feeling oh, we were going to do something 21 pin when one of the first items on the catalogs was an 8 to 21 pin adapter. <coughs> Absolutely, and it doesn't mean you can put TTS sound chips into the locomotive. So, uh, big hello to Gwen Reese, Gwen Reese Davies, J7802, Cameron Patterson, morning to you, Will Tucker. And uh, says there's a few reworkings with 21 pin. Uh, Angus's train says, yes, I know, but at least there's coal wagons, horse wagons, and sheep wagons. Um, I think I'll come in halfway through a conversation. £266.49, uh, yeah, um, they are getting expensive. There's a lot of reasons for that. Right, let's keep scrolling. Um, we've got actually the Battle of Britain, that really lovely Malachite livery. Um, right, Steam Generator. Uh, Flying Scotsman, uh, let's open that link. And let's open that one. So we saw the um actual hints for this but this is right so new catalog number ending in ss for steam generator um diecast footplate flickering firebox so i am intrigued technical specs is this going to be so it's dcc ready 21 pin socket um not entirely sure whether this is a native dcc model or whether it works on dc let's have a look um no we've got no other details there so um i will check up with hornby on this and hopefully maybe even get a um an answer by the monday club but um what i'm interested in is are these actually dcc fitted or is this something that runs on dc um and you can add in just a plain decoder to make them work on dcc so I'm just reading down there, they include new Hornby Steam. I will ask about that. That is really interesting. Um, uh, I, I think it uses water. Um, a lot of these new smoke units are um, going into um, uh, into models. The, the, the steam units, the water, they're based on, I think it's on like vaping type technology. Um, so much better for your room, um, for your, your train room. 272, I think that this is DCC ready, which does mean that DC modelers are going to um, uh, are going to be in on this one. So DC modelers, I think, are going to be pleasantly surprised. Uh, Will Tucker says, reintroducing the four VEP in new liveries. Yeah, we've been clamoring for this. And like you say, with Simon specifically referencing high prices for previous models in second-hand market. The Class 423, I know you could pick them up for just a shade over £100. Brand new last time, but that was a good few years ago. Prices have moved on from then, so we're looking at probably around the £360 mark, I think. But anyway, the steam generator, we've got the P2 um this one as well uh i want to just check the tech specs on this it's, it's saying dcc ready 21 pin i am gonna have to take a good look at that um i will check with um uh with hornby uh actually with steam generator no there's no link on there i don't know there's, we saw that on the hornby and model world program um timber surf's just ultrasonic vaporizer uh, and yeah, Gwyn Reese Davies, ultrasonic based, not vape oil. 
Um, Flyman Chamber 1, I don't think it's DCC fitted. I, I suspect at that price, actually. Um, it just needs a decoder. Um, I, I will be checking that with Hornby, actually. A really interesting development. So um, I think there's at least one more model knocking about here uh, with the steam generator. Now, Hornby 00 reappearing, but um, I'm surprised, actually, that Golden Fleece is not in the Hornby 00 range. Sir Nigel Gresley is, but not in the livery that Hornby 00 did Sir Nigel Gresley in. Um, so working further down, uh, we've got the, the class 423. Let's bring these up. Um, the e Network Southeast, they did do a version last time round, but I don't believe that the Southern uh, cla uh, class 423 was. Um, uh, APT sets, I think it was still outstanding those from last year. Um, oh my word. Uh, just... So, um, these as well, not forgetting the modern image modelers. So, I'm going to bring up some of those as well. Uh, class 755. Right, anyway. So, let's take a look at some of these. So, we've got the class 4234 VEP reappears. <coughs> Excuse me. £362.99. Um, it is a four-car unit, I believe. So... Let's just, uh, so two, three, four. So it is a four car unit. So let's bear in mind, this is on a par um, with what Backman are charging for the class 410, class 411. So it's not above market rate. Uh, certainly this is a welcome addition, uh, as has already been mentioned, being um, uh, something that uh, goes for such silly prices on um, uh, second hand. I think it it just made sense. It made sense for Hornby to re-release these. Clearly, there is demand for them. We've also got the um, uh, this livery. Really quite a pretty livery. I'm not one for modern image liveries. Uh, but certainly, uh, this livery um, is one which does excite. Um, I just like it. Um, so, we've got the full four-car set. Uh, great to see these reappear in the range. Now, have these been upgraded to 21 pin? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look. So, technical specs: 21 pin does appear to be appearing across the, um, um, uh, across the range. Really quite impressed by that. So, um, the class 370, uh, 586 pounds 99. Expected autumn 2022. So we're going to get another run of these, it would seem. Um, how many? So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the full seven pack. So to bear in mind for that price, you're getting the seven pack. Um, we're going to, let's go technical space. This is still eight pin. Um, so um, really interesting. Right. So... Uh, Let's go for the modern image here. So the class 755 stroke for the flirt, four car train pack, era 11, uh, great for the modern image modeler. So uh, we've got 411 pounds 49. Um, a number of different liveries I've spotted of these. Again, um, technical specs, 21 pin socket. Now that is going to be a, a big boon for modelers of these because it means that basically, you can have many more lighting functions. The eight pin, I needed a bit of jiggery pokery with that extra ninth wire that sort of flops loose, but you could make it give you four lighting options. 21 pin, um, natively they support six. I have seen them go up to 10, which does mean that you can get front and rear lights, um, different front and rear lights, cab lights, uh, and also interior lights, um, all out of a 21 pin that you can't from the 8 pin. And uh, so that's in, which livery is that? Um, Greater Anglia, can't, really, can't see it for it. Right. So the class 803, five car train pack, 500 tubers. So you paid about £100 per item in the set. Technical specs, this again, 21 pin. That's probably the big surprise from these announcements, but very, very welcome surprise. So, 
uh let's go back up the uh oh no we've we've have we yeah we've reached the bottom now so uh let's go and take a look at um let's have a look at wagons and wagon packs and yeah right so price low to high let's take a look at these so beetles range hornby are doing uh, a lot with their beetles license definitely great to see certainly proven very popular and actually quite a reasonable price point for uh, that kind of collector's market you can see though um having to license that does add to the price so that's the same wagon, I believe, uh, but with the Santa's present wagon, it's at eighteen forty-nine, and the extra pound is presumably for the licensing. We've also got uh, Beatles Let It Be, Beatles for Sale, Beatles Revolver. These are actually quite popular, so it is nice to see that um, uh, Hornby are making some good hay with some of the licenses that they've bought. Coca-Cola one as well, uh, again, really popular. We're getting that six-wheel tank wagon. It is a good model. The Hornby six-wheel tank wagon, um, I actually rate as being better than the Daypole version, mostly because the type of plastic that Hornby use does accept printing on the wagon soul bar, which means that you can actually have all of the detail printed on. Ruben Ashwell, absolutely. Beatles are a great band. Flamma Gem, what is this? Duchess of Montrose, though. Nice. Uh, good to see the 755 sets in the range. Will Tucker says TPE liveried 802 is also announced, but with no product picture. Um, yeah, the, there's. Uh, I am sort of glossing through. Um, but um, Dongit's Model Railway, not seeing the Connex white yellow VEP. Um, I think, did they come out last time? I'm not sure. Flamma Gem, when Coca Cola carriage thought the bolster wagon with the Coke bottle on was a bit weird. <laughs> And this stuff, this stuff is, is good. Um, people like it. Uh, we're getting a whole load more private era um, the wagons. The three plank is actually a really great wagon. Um, three plank and six plank, plank and four plank. I really do like those. Five plank and the seven plank, not so, because they're a bit uh, too the wrong size. So I'm just looking down here, looking for some standout. Ooh, what Hornby Railway's 50th anniversary. This is for Hornby when they uh, basically Triang Hornby, uh, the Hornby 00 Triang merger. So we're getting the anniversary wagon there. Um, although that's actually a, a pound again more expensive, a pound 50. Um, right, uh, we are getting is that new tooling or not? I uh, know that isn't new tooling. Um, we've got um, the Conflat A reappearing again as older tooling. Uh, Hornby 2022 wagon is the insu LMS insulated wagon. Um, just looking down, the fish wagon reappearing. Nice to see. Uh, there's the Lomac with Coca Cola bottle. Um, I think that's quite fun. Uh, I'm going to bring that one up. Uh, we're all, oh. These are fun, actually. Um, oh, that one as well has caught my eye. Um, that That's an interesting livery. Um, let's have a look at some of these. So this is the Lomac with Coke bottle. I think that this is really, really good. I like this. This, to me, is... This is what model trains are supposed to be about. This is fun. And I really like uh, that they are not afraid to embrace the fun side of things. Um, and this, for me, I think that's going to be quite popular. It's certainly very different. Um, re yeah, um, Game Hammer Classic Gaming. Absolutely. Coke Bottle Wagon is hilarious. I love it. I absolutely love it. So um, twenty five forty nine. Yeah, that's within the ballpark. Um, not too bad. And this as well. Christmas Tree Carrier. Um so let's have a, a close look at this again it's fun and that is what is bringing the new generation into the hobby and that's really really important that uh you know at the end of the day if we don't bring the um the new generation into the hobby then the hobby will die um so fun stuff like this i think is great and i can imagine that next Christmas, as long as they can get this out in time in the presents wagon, what they're actually tapping into is the market to have a fun little train set that goes around the base 
of your Christmas tree. Uh, I like that. Yeah, Game Hammer Classic Game said the Coke bottle is going to anger the gatekeepers with it's nobody wants a pink Darth Vader all over again. Mm. Absolutely. Um, yeah, um, yeah, if I'm sure it's fun, I dare say, like the tip field carriage on a bolster wagon as well. Absolutely. So, um, I, I, I like stuff like that. And come on, thinking caps on for that Christmas themed round the Christmas tree layout for next year. Um, I'm actually really tempted to have a go at something like that. I, I, that, that could be the Christmas project. Um, I really do think that that could be quite fun. Um, this is actually really nice livery. BR Departmental X LMS CCT van. Now we had this in the blue and red. It's I, I really like this sort of reverse intercity livery. Um, that is definitely on my wish list. So uh, really pleased to see that. Um, and this as well, this Stania brake van was at Chester for a great many years. I think it lasted into privatisation there, although somewhat dilapidated. And I do like these later liveries on uh, brake vans. Uh, for me, and brake vans, I really do love them. And the Stania brake van from Hornby is an excellent model. And I have actually gone out of my way. I'm just seeing if there's one to hand uh, within grasping distance um there we go so the stania brake van from hornby i love this model fully updated really really nice i love it and that is definitely going to be a model that <coughs> i will be purchasing later in the year um so Let's go back to the list. Um, scrolling down, um, lots of these these containers, unsung heroes, it has to be said. Really great for the modern image modeler. Uh, now, the Laureate Y um, is, we're, we're getting this in a number of other liveries. Um, bah, 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 bah. What's the newspaper van? Let's, we'll bring that up. Um, let's just go through. Oh, 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 oh. Now, uh, somebody mentioned these and I thought they were joking. Era one modelers. Um, yeah, like, I stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go straight to these. Horse wagon. Uh, Liverpool and Manchester. It's about the same price as the triple packs were coming out at. What, what have we got here? Oh, yes. I can see a lot of Era 1 models coming on. Um, that Lady of the Lamp um, train pack. I can, I can, rivulets of imagination are forming. I think an Era 1 layout is now a very real possibility. With Rocket, with, um, with Lion, and with an assortment of wagons now. Because we've had the... The um the flat wagons, the triple pack, they're still out there. Do check out Arcadia Models and Durham Trains of Stanley. They are the two retailers that today we are promoting for getting your Hornby pre-orders in with. Uh, but certainly um some of the older stuff that's been out, do check with them because they do hold some quite large stocks. And it's always nice to highlight some of the slower moving, uh, smaller model shops because they are a great place to get... um. Um, to get some of the items that may have sold out in the bigger shops. And Angus's trade, yeah, I do apologise. I actually thought you were sort of like tongue-in-cheek with the sheep wagon and the horse wagon. You're absolutely right. This is great. Um, uh, yeah, Angus's train says, I'm not sure I can stretch to a set of coronation coaches with all the era one stuff. I love these. I absolutely love these. So, um, wish list. Is that th this is uh, I, I'm getting excited now. I actually I'm getting excited by the wagons rather than uh, some of the uh, the others. Oh, hold on. So that's the horse wagon pack, sheep wagon. Oh, I, I can, there's so much excitement here. I can see some new new projects on the horizon. Really nice. And the the Liverpool and Manchester Railway coal wagon pack, the children's, and these as well. Now we have had an announcement from another manufacturer um and these i am pleased to say are a different design these are complementary not competitive and this is really really nice i like these i really do like these 
And are they coloured in cans or are they the actual samples? So uh, let's have a look at what it says on release dates. Let's have a look. Expected summer this year. So that could be a livery sample. Uh, 76 99 for a triple pack. Uh, actually, that's an interesting one. AD Pullen says no era one male coach. Interesting. Uh, Egg Rider points out the Liverpool and Manchester Railway sheep and horse wagons match up with the Royal Mail stamps that were released in the 1980s. That is very interesting. Um, Jerry BVR says, good morning, folks. So far, everything is £100 more than I'd be willing to pay. Um, bear in mind, there are the Railway Railroad Plus range, and I'm going to talk to Hornby about those. I'm interested to, to check those out. I think that those... And again, there's some unsung heroes in this release schedule. The 21 pin sockets, these era one wagons, um, but also re release of the class 423, uh, the six wheel Sentinel, definitely. Um, but um, also the Railroad Plus range, um, and you know, the, the Coke bottle. Love that Coke bottle. But yeah, really excited by them. Uh, although that's a re release of the ex Lima Gov. Um, I did wonder on that. Um, Laureate Y Machinery Truck. So this is, <coughs> you'll have seen it in the Titfield Thunderbolt Trains on Film pack, but I, I'm really, really pleased that these are available separately if um, actually what you want is the wagon. So I am really impressed by this. This is nice. And the Great Western Railway livery, there were, I, I believe there were only two of these. The one from the film, I'm told, doesn't exist anymore. It was scrapped. But the other wagon is preserved, I think, on the Seven Valley Railway. So really, really interesting to see that. Let's take a look at what's the um, the Era 4 livery. Um, although that's not Era 4 because it's got a tops code on. So that is in my wheelhouse. Um, we'll be having this, definitely. ZXP. Um, it's BR Departmental Black. But with a tops code, so actually that's era seven. Uh, not wishing to split hairs, but uh, there we go. Um, really interesting. Love to see that in the flesh, definitely. So there, we've been through the wagons. Not as many as I thought there would be. So let's just um, get back to the top. And let's go for coaches and coach packs and ditch the wagons and wagon packs. Let's have a look at some of your comments. Um, uh, big hello to Matt Avell. Uh, great to see you. Uh, Gwyn Reese davis says, they want you to buy the pack for the mail coach. Yeah, it's understandable. The Rocket Pack hasn't come out yet um, with that. So um, let's um, see, see. I think it will come out separately eventually. Gwyn Reese davis says, there are only two Laureate y Wackers, but I said that. Uh, they were for transporting excavators. Yeah, definitely. Um, the the one with the BR Tops livery. Really looking forward to that. Uh, as predicted, we're getting some more of the four and six wheel coaches. GWR six wheel. It's great to see that. Coca Cola General Utility Vehicle. So that that's the Gov. Then I take it. Um, some of these live right. So uh, crew coach, brilliant. Oh yes. Um, GWR, I'm just having a look now. London and South Western Railway. <gasps> and also, uh, Callum Wilcox, I'm sure, uh, I know is very excited, but Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway. Callum, they heard your pleas. Or at least they saw you repaint a load and went, oh, oh, oh I will do that. Right. Um, oh, Somerset and Dorset, uh, really nice livery. I do like that. That looks amazing. That is on the shopping list. The shopping list is getting really, really long. That is beautiful. So standout pick uh, that if there's one pre-grouping coach that you buy, this is it. That one. The full break really shows off the panelling. But I... <laughs> this, this... <laughs> wait, wait, I'll forget that. This one. This one. Oh, oh, yes. I can't believe they've done it. This is my favourite from the full release. Um, and I'm so impressed. There's there's a photograph of this. It came out as part of the Genesis Project Genesis research. Somebody shared this. 
but a six wheel coach in BR blue grey. It was paired up as it was the generator unit for a ex I think it was London Northwestern Railway cinema coach <coughs> as part of a BR exhibition train. In the early 1970s, yes, it did indeed get that livery, although sadly the coach was scrapped not that long afterwards, which was a real shame. Although I'm guessing that being a generator coach, it would be chopped around inside. But oh yes, oh yes, anybody struggling for a Christmas present this year, look no... In fact, no, screw it. I'm going to just buy it. Don't buy it me as a Christmas present. I'm not prepared to wait for Christmas. I just want it. I'm going to buy it. Shut up, Hobby, and take my money. I'm really excited by that. This is this this is the 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 squeeing. Um, oh, if I'm a chair one, is it a departmental coach? And technically, yes, I suppose it was, but it, it travelled with the exhibition train. Um, this though is a beautiful livery. Um, so Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway, really nice livery. I'm sure that somebody saw the ones that Callum, aka SDJR seven F eighty eight, painted up for his uh, layout. And went, oh, they look nice. Yeah, well, we'll do that. So that really is nice. Absolutely nice. I feel like smashy and nicey. Nice. Um, so really, uh, I did predict we were going to get some really great new liveries on these. And we were not disappointed. Departmental mess coach. Perfect for going with your Pacman breakdown crane. Uh, so I, this is going to be another popular one. Definitely. Uh, really nice livery. Let's get a, a, an extreme close up. Um, so, um, for some reason I can't scroll left and right on that, but um, that does look really nice. Uh, that's going to be popular. I can tell you that now. Coca Cola livery gov. Um, surprisingly enough, that's a much cheaper price than the BR Blue one. Uh, the Coca Cola train is looking really good. Um, uh, so let's have a look at that is like, I'm sorry, but I, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to leave that tab open and, uh, because I'm, I'm going, I'm going to just love that and lick the screen later. <laughs> uh, but yes, um, my old Chester model row says, looks like we're having another Simon Kohler, you absolute genius moment. Yes, I think we are. Yes, we are. Hello to Retro Mickey 82. Uh, great to see you. I've uh, got James Furman in, Matthew Dunmore said, Good morning all, I'm excited for the Hornby 0A4 and the LNER Coronation Train and Coach Packs. Can't wait. Wangok says, S&D coaches are a must for me. Kev McKay 85 says, I like the LNER Coronation Observation Car. Absolutely. Right. Um, GW, these are going to be popular. GWR liveried ones. Uh, SDJ, BR Departmental Tool Van. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, the Shark Plow is making a comeback. Nice to see. Mark III's uh, variety of private owner liveries. And actually, in the grand scheme of things, that's not too bad a price. Um, so we've got um, some more blue-gray coaches, Mark Ones. A lot of... Um, let's have a look. Um we're hoping for some more intercity charter stock. Um, we've got the BCK in the cream and maroon. A lot of Mark threes here. Uh, that looks interesting. I'm going to open that up. This looks interesting. Balfour BT. I do like my departmental stuff. Um, let's have a look. I'm not seeing any intercity charter. It has to be said. Uh, Test Coach Mercury, always likely to be popular. Um, that's an interesting one. And uh, Mansell Dining Saloon. L ah, the Stania. I think they're a rerun of the Observation Car. Let's bring that up. Um, this is interesting. An articulated coach set. Really interesting. There's some interesting stuff here. Right, let's have a look at some of these tabs I've opened up. So, oh, sorry, that, that's my, my personal tab for, for adoring later on. Let's leave that be. Uh, Six-wheel tool van, uh, again, sure to prove really popular. Um, I can see a lot of breakdown trains appearing um, on layouts. So, um, really excited by some of these. 
This is a really interesting livery. So uh, this is another departmental excuse me, livery. We saw the ballast uh, cleaner um, train coaches before. This is another departmental livery. It's some really colourful BR liveries. Um, so really interesting. Let's see what it says about that. Um, so what did it say? Product info. Blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look. It doesn't tell you about this specific coach. I thought it might do, but it doesn't. Uh, it just says departmental X Mark I first open. Era 8. So sort of 80s. This one is, again, really quite interesting colour scheme. Balfour Beatty, one for the modern image modellers. Um, so I, I like that. That is a really nice livery. So um, I think that's as, as close in as we can get. Um, really quite an eye-catching livery. I, I, I do like that. Test Coach Mercury. Um, I think, again, this is going to be popular. The um, XR, the, the RTC Red and Blue stuff, always very popular from, um, for uh, even going back to Model Zone days, they did a lot of commissions, stuff like uh, Laboratory 14, Test Coach 2, um, Lab 23, there are three that I can think of. This is another one from that kind of ilk. I think it's going to go down really well, especially if we've got the Class 24 experiment in the livery to match. Um, they're also doing, Hornby are doing in the Railroad Plus range, the Class 31 in the slightly later RTC livery. So um, I think that's going to go down quite well. This is Laboratory 2. Again, I think this is going to be quite popular for the same sorts of reasons. Really, really interesting to see these uh, being brought out. Always a popular livery. We're getting more of the LMS coronation coaches. We really thought that we'd see the uh, the maroon and gold ones, although they were only done for the US train. They are quite famous for um, uh, the photos. I want to say US trains went over for an exhibition, and I think they got stuck over there during the Second World War. Um, but uh, nice to see some more of these. Um, let's have a look. What else? Uh, the LNER observation car. This, I think, is going to be very, very popular. Uh, expected in the summer. Um, so let's have a look. Really, really, the Art Deco style, very eye-catching. Of course, the Pullman observation car, very, very popular um, previously. Um, quite hard to get now, um, but certainly, I think that's going to prove very, very popular. Um, what price? Uh, oh, um, now this livery is interesting. We're getting the coaches, but where, where's the rest of the pack? Um, must have um, missed them. That's like a sort of an intercity type livery. Um, so the APT followers, you're not going to be short of stock on, on, on these, it has to be said. Right, this, this coach pack, I think, is going to... Uh, so this is the open third and break third articulated coach pack. Uh, how many coaches do you get? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Usually pulled by an A4. Uh, so four sets of coaches plus two observation cars. Uh, not really. All oh, right. So it would appear that this is a four. This can't be right. Um, right. So, um, oh no, no, that's not the packs. Um, again, I think we're going to need to wait for some more information on, on some of these. That's my personal tab. We'll be looking at that later on. Um, so some really interesting stuff. Now, uh, let's just go back up and let's have a look at train sets. Let's see what it's got here. Starting to get quite lightheaded. I've been very ill over the weekend, so it must be said. We've been going for nearly an hour, so I might have to stop soon. Uh, Triang Railways Remembered. This is the crash train set. Oh, my word. What What is this? Have they dug out some old tooling? Oh, my word. 
gosh, this does take me back. And that's actually a really good price. Right, can I just say here, I know there's been a lot of discussion about price, but we've got some really great prices at the more budget end. And th this is something I'm not seeing from other manufacturers, uh, except maybe Oxford Rail. It's about keeping the hobby accessible to the new generation. And um, I'm quite intrigued by this. Let's have a look. Yeah, trying railways remembered. We've got the the proper oldie. Look at the nineteen seventies artwork. My God, I remember grandparents' houses like that. Although actually, no, grandparents used to have loud wallpaper on the walls. So this is actually quite interesting, and it's mimicking the original set. There's a bit delayed until the so it was the first outing of that mobile crane. So it's a reimagined set. Really uh, quite interested in and um, these do look quite good. No, you you fool, you fool, you press the back button. Um guys, luckily we seem to be alright. Um so let's have the Victorian train. I remember this. So trying rails remembered um the Victorian train set. Lord of the Isles! Lord of the Isles, everybody with Oh my word. And there's the loud wall. Look at that. God, that is a bit. Is that newspaper on there? Is that actually wallpaper? That is most peculiar. Look at the decor. Yeah, did we used to live like that? <laughs> um, the Victorian. Right. This is nice. It's an analog train set. So we've got the Lord of the Isles and the Clerestory coaches. Um, let's have a look at the tech specs. DCC ready. So it will take a decoder natively. Oh, uh, Joe Smith says no power supplied included in the Triang sets. Um, there is that. But once you've got one power supply, do you really need extras? Uh, and yeah, Flamish M1, uh, absolutely original box artwork as well. So those and quite a reasonable price point as well. So uh, it's my special tab. Um, we've got um, some train packs here as well. Isle of Wight set up. Oh, 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 I sent Simon the photograph. Wasn't my photograph. Oh, uh, I sent him a picture of this. Look at that. Isle of Wight Central. I love this. Oh, Simon, you little sweetie. And you and you played so coy when I suggested this. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, really nice to see it with the Isle of Wight Central carriages. Oh, now that, that is a doozy. So, uh, 217.99. You're getting three coaches plus, a, plus the terrier and a livery that I've never seen it in before. That is nice. Um, that, uh, I have to say, is definitely one on the radar. Uh, Mallard Record Breaker Train Set. It says Era 3, but uh, those are BR liveried coaches. Uh, there's two of them. Um, we're getting a whole load of train packs for the HST. Let's, let's have a look at one of those. The Royal Scott train set in Hornby double O packaging and the class 802. Uh, ah, right, this is going to be for the Jubilee year. So let's take a look. Oh no, that's my special tab. Uh, record breaker train set. It says era three. I'm sorry, Hornby. Newbie mistake. That's era four. Yeah, era four, but certainly so. What like so that's Mallard. So we're getting on this. Uh, it's not letting me scroll actually, so that's a bit annoying. Uh, so we're getting Mallard with three coaches, but I, it doesn't tell me two hundred and thirty six ninety nine. That's actually pretty reasonable. Interesting. Is this going to be with the railroad coaches or with the full fat one? It's an eight pin socket, but that's I would expect that. Um, mm, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm I'm gonna have to actually um, uh, query with Hornby about a few of these. 
which set is this? So this, it appears to be the same one. Have they got the listing in twice? Right, one of them's for L and ER, one of them's for BR, but it would appear that they've used the same picture for both. Okay, right. Um, class 43 HST train pack. It's that's just the just the power cars. Just the power cars. Huh. Um hmm. It has been upgraded for twenty one pin sockets. So um very interesting, but uh, and they're quite expensive, it has to be said. Right, Royal Scott train set era four. Nice to see the Hornby double O artwork going on there. So what do you get for your money? Four hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. I would expect that that is. Let's have a look. Is that Duchess of Montrose? I can't actually see. Um, with the two, that that is exactly as per the original set. It would seem. Four hundred twenty nine ninety nine. Um, Hornby double O rate. Oh, I love that picture. Oh, it's my childhood right there. It's like that's me, except that's not me. Um, so we're getting um, two, three, two. That that is Duchess. Is that Duchess of Athol or Duchess of Montrose? Duchess of Montrose. It is. So we get. Oh, this is this is it. This is a genius tapping into. The um, nostalgia market, definitely really impressed by that. So, uh, making it return the new Homer Double O also have been even more. Yeah. Oh, this is right. So, we're getting Duchess of Montrose. Yeah. Oh, it's got the right coaches as well. Ah, oh, and it does have. Um, oh, it's got the power connection drive. No. I think one of the reasons that there's no power supply is that so that they can just market this around the world. Oswestry Street Road TMD, catch you later. We are going to be doing the Monday Club later. I know a lot of people are now going to be drifting off. But um, um Oh, what's that? All right, yeah. Um sorry, just reading some comments. Uh Angus's train says it'll be the railroad teaks in Blood and Custard. I suspect you're right on that price point. But uh, really, really nice. Right. Um, really quite impressed with that. Royal Scott train set era for E. Oh, right. EU. Uh, does not include a wall. So what? Huh. So what's different about this? I don't know. I'm not quite certain on that. That's my special tab. But don't uh, <laughs> don't take it away from me. My special tab. Um, let's have a look at digital command control. Um, so basically, we've got the converter and the decoder. Um, nothing else uh, listed there. So that's interesting. Let's just ha finally have a look at the buildings. Uh, a lot of people down the Stafford man. Great to see you in. Uh, catch up later. Um, so there's a lot of people having to head off, unfortunately. But yeah, it's, it is a school day. But we'll be back on the Monday Club from 7. So um, I think some of these are carried over, like the Stone Circle, still waiting for that from last year. I'm just looking through if there's any. Uh, we've got um, Step Touch, Retaining Walls, Engineers, Blue Brick. They're going to be quite useful, 16.99. Quite a, um, yeah, that's quite a useful range, potentially. So uh, we've got the, now we did talk a little bit about that. I'll bring it up. Um, let's see what else have we got. Grounded six wheel coach summer house. Um, well, there's no picture on that. So that Scottish Croft looks quite nice. I'm going to bring that up. I think that is right. Uh, Southeastern Railway signal box, Southeastern Railway footbridge. So, so there's a full Southeastern Railway station in the offing so this one is interesting uh we'll talk a bit more about this on the um uh on the monday club tonight 24.49 good price point um double o die cast now the double o dinky but they're not allowed to use the word dinky i think mattel owns the rights to that 
Um, so they haven't been able to license the name uh, Double O Dinky. Uh, good morning to 156 Andrew. Um, so they said they've called them Double O Diecast. This is the Pierce and Crump Mallingford coach from Titfield Thunderbolt. So this is to tie in with their trains on film range. So let's see if we can just zoom in here. Let's just center that. Well, I don't know, you silly thing. So, um, so there it is. Yeah, inspired by the Tipfield Thunderbolt. Pearson Crump. It was Pearson Crump in the film, wasn't it? Um, I thought I have to check on that. Um, hmm. So that's an interesting one. Uh, it looks a really nice model, it has to be said. And that looks like the actual model, not a, a livery sample. Oh, that is a photograph. I thought that that did look quite nice for the building. Um, so the Scottish Croft, that looks really nice, actually. I quite like that as uh, um, for a new addition to the range. If it looks anything like that, that is really nice for anything on a coastal type layout. I think that's going to be uh, really nice. Gwyn Rhys Davies says, prefer the repeater bus as posable wheels. I'm trying to fit it with remote control. I think, yeah, put it on um, something like a Fowler car system chassis, perhaps. Right. Uh, Trainman 90. Good evening to you. Uh, although it's morning here, but yeah, you're you're in the future. So hello to the future. Um, when I woke up this morning at 6.30, you'd already got busy. I mean, how efficient are you guys? You'd already heard and decided the Djokovic uh, court case. So uh, good on you. Um, so good evening to you. You're going to crack open a tin of one of the uh, the cold ones uh, if it's after work, certainly. We're back for the Monday Club, which I guess from your point of view will be in tomorrow. Um, Mark Rogerson, a trains on film train pack for the Orient Express movie would be awesome. I'm trying to find a French loco to make up some kind of train. Right, um, there is a French loco you can get. Uh, Tricks, remember them? Um, uh, they, I think, um, th 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 there's definitely one. If you look on DCC Concepts website, I took photos of a wonderful Tricks French locomotive. Um, on some of, I think it's on some of the Rolling Road uh, pictures. Um, go and take a look at that. That was fully DCC sound and smoke fitted. Really impressive model, but it won't be cheap. I'll tell you that now. Mm. Uh, Egg Rider says, I'm guessing that the destination board in the Bedford OB is different from that used in the film. Possibly. I'm going to have to look into that, actually. I'm going to have to look into that. Right. Anyway, so... We've been through, oh, my special tab. Hello. I am so getting you. <laughs> oh, I say. Uh, right. Um, Andy Brooks says, I love this Scottish Croft. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that Scottish Croft does look quite nice. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, also, uh, don't forget as well that the two retailers that we're suggesting that if you want to put your orders in for anything from the Hornby 2022 range, then uh, we are currently uh, recommending Durham Trains of Stanley. We have posted their phone number in the uh, uh, chat near the beginning, but you can also do a Google search for them. You can place your orders for the full Hornby range with them, but also Arcadia Models. Uh, good old Tim in Arcadia Models in short. Again, we did post the number, but a uh, quick Google foo, uh, really easy to find both these shops. And of course, um, Tim is the home of the second hand table that I picked up this model. So um, certainly I, I, I had no idea that Hornby were bringing out a model of this loco in this livery. Um, it's a professional renumber. It's not like a, a sample or anything. But yeah, uh, absolutely impressed. There's some really great things for this range. Just as a roundup, um, I'm thinking that... Um, for me, the standouts, I think, um, the introduction of that steam and smoke, we've seen that in the P2, um, and um, it's certainly one, two, excuse me, that's one to watch. I think that's going to be very popular. One of the reasons that Hornby have probably um, decided to add it to the range is quite simply because of the reaction it got in Hornby and Model World. <coughs> but also... Um, I think the Isle of Wight Central Terrier pack, that is inspired. 
the the blue gray coach i mean come on let's have another look what is not to like about that i am so getting that that is a standout for me somerset and dorset joint railway uh, um prussian blue coaches again sure to sell out get your orders in quick quick um and um locomotive wise i think actually the railroad plus is what um um a uh, railroad plus is certainly a great price point we got some great fun stuff as well the coca-cola wagon that low mac with the coca-cola bottle on absolutely um looks good Catherine Norman, big hello to you. Welcome back. As a hi, Jenny from Down Under. It's been a while since I have caught you live. My mum runs Forest Miniatures here in Australia. Ah, yes, I do remember when we were doing the big si shout out to uh, the smaller model shops all around the world. Um, and it's al always great to hear from you. Um, but we will be back this evening um, for the Monday Club from Seven. We'll, we will undoubtedly be talking a lot more about this. But, um, uh jennifer garrett says the cinema coach that went with the generator car is preserved at quentin i think oh it's nice to hear that the uh, london and northwestern railway cinema coach got preserved just a shame that this coach that's on your screen now didn't but certainly i, I, I want it i need it i need it Triang and hornby double o sets great to tap into that nostalgia Great to see the Class 423 re-released. The Class 110 Calderdale D um, DMU as well. That's one to watch. But the Railroad pr Plus at a price point of under £100. Really, really um, uh, uh, excited by those as well. And Catherine Norman, absolutely. We are Hornby retailers here too. Uh, certainly, if you're... Uh, I know we've got a lot of Aussies in the chat. So um, certainly... There are um, uh, stockists in uh, Australia as well. So you don't need to buy mail order from the UK. Um, but certainly in the stream today, we're, um, we're just um, highlighting Durham Trains of Stanley and Arcadia Models as two in the UK. Also, yes, Angus's Trains Era 1 stuff ordered. Um, absolutely, that Era 1 releases as well. Really excited by those. But I'm going to round off the stream now because I'm going a bit hoarse. I need to save my voice for tonight. But uh, until uh, until tonight, it's been great hanging out with you. Thanks for joining me for this run through of the Hornby 2022 range. Some really exciting developments. Um, there's, I, I like the re-liveries, it has to be said. For me, re-liveries are, uh, are always the unsung heroes because um, in all honesty, um, sometimes the you know the, the all new models get the limelight, but actually what you really want is that brake van or that coach in a particular livery, and when it does turn up, it can really make your your day. So until tonight on the Monday Club, you guys take great care of yourself. I'll catch you then. Bye for now. Like that that coach, the coach that's on your screen. Look at it above me. Look at it. Oh. I really, I, I'm going to go and email Simon Kohler now and say, "Ooh, you smoothie, you you told me with a straight face." Like, oh, I like that. That looks nice. Um, <laughs> so either it was my suggestion that tipped it, or probably more likely it was already in the bag. Um, so um, absolutely right. Anyway, um, I'm going to head off. Look, you guys take great care of yourself. So um, until uh, this evening, uh, bye for now. Where, where's my? Where's my control center? There we go. So until this evening, you guys take great care of yourself.